I cried a lot that night and felt really demotivated. It was a really low point for me in the competition. I even stopped talking to my friends and family, but it was not the time for me to back down. Hello everyone, my name is Shashwati Bala, your Femina Miss India West Bengal 2023 and today I am going to share my Miss India journey with you guys. It all started with a simple form. I had no idea that filling out that form would lead me to the auditions and also make me Miss India West Bengal 2023. Can you believe it? I had absolutely no clue of what to expect since I had never taken up any pageant training course and no solid information was there on the internet. I just carried my documents and my heels and went straight for the auditions without actually knowing of what to expect. All the state finalists were called to Mumbai in the Times of India office. And oh my god, all the girls were looking so confident and well groomed. I even spotted some big social media influencers. I remember I had a meltdown just before the auditions because I was so nervous. I got super intimidated seeing all the other girls. There was even a point where I felt like going back home because I didn't even think that I had the slightest chance in front of them. But I put myself together and went ahead for the audition, showing my real and true self. And before going in, I put on a big smile and forgot everything else. There was a jury of almost 10 to 12 people ready to randomly shoot questions at you. All the state finalists went in together where they started with me. And I kind of got the hint that they were asking me a lot of questions. And I kind of felt really happy because I thought that they were genuinely taking interest in knowing me. And guess what? I actually won. I won the title of Femina Miss India West Bengal 2023. And this title is going to stay with me for the rest of my life. And from that day, my Miss India journey started. As the state winner, my life took an incredible turn. I had the opportunity to visit sponsors like Reliance Trends and INIFD. And not only that, I even got a full day pampering session at VLCC. And meanwhile, we were having our online sessions wherein we were given different projects and we also had to fill out a lot of Google Forms. And by a lot, I mean a lot. Finally, the day arrived when we had to reach Mumbai. 6th of March, when my official journey started. All the girls were kept in Kohino Continental Hotel. And once we reached there, the Miss India team took care of everything. Starting from fooding, accommodation, transportation, grooming and everything else. I was really excited to meet all the state winners because I had been stalking them since the results were announced. But it also kind of felt really weird walking into a room full of strangers not knowing what to expect other than the fact that I had to spend the rest of my 40 days with them. During our orientation, we all took turns introducing ourselves and we also got to know the core members of the team. The highlight of the day was the sashin ceremony where Sinishetti Miss India World 2022 was invited to honor us with our sashes. It was the moment that made me feel truly special and I was super thrilled to start on with my journey. On the first day, we were allotted roommates and my roommate was Shreya Poonj and she was representing Delhi. Day after was Holi and for the first time in the history of Miss India, all the state winners were invited to a Holi party. For me, it was very overwhelming because this Holi party looked like it came straight out of a Bollywood movie. There was a cocktail counter, full buffet menu, music, rain shower, dole and what not. I also spotted a lot of Bollywood stars. So, until now was fun, but after this, the actual drill started. We had grooming sessions, photo shoots, fittings and a lot more things planned throughout these days. We went for photo shoots for the sponsored brands like Nine, Color Bar, Mohe, etc. We had our ramp up session with Alicia Rauchman and she is such a gem of a person. The way she walks is just flawless. We also had a styling session, acting session and a lot of different ones as well. After a few days, the subcontests began. This year, there were a total of 17 subcontests. A few of them were Miss Rampop, Miss Body Beautiful, Miss Beautiful Skin, Miss Photogenic, etc. I got into the top 5 of two subcontests, Miss Style Icon and Miss Photogenic, and I was really excited for the results to be announced. All these subcontests were super fun, and we really enjoyed this part a lot. The results of the subcontests were to be announced during the awards night. On the awards night, a few of the girls got to perform for the talent round and after that, all the 30 girls walked down the ramp in Sahih Kocha's outfits. And just to mention, these outfits were so beautiful, I actually felt like a princess walking down the ramp. At the awards night, I was hoping to win at least one title, but unfortunately, I did not end up winning anything. I was so shattered at that time 
because I had worked really hard and I was even in the top five for two of them. When all the winners were announced, we were still standing on stage and I remember I was just at the verge of crying. My eyes were all teared up, but I still had a big smile on my face. It was a really low point for me in the competition because I was actually hoping to win at least one title even before the actual competition started. I cried a lot that night and felt really demotivated. But it was not the time for me to back down. That time, I decided to work even harder and without keeping any expectations. I just thought that I'll give my best and we'll see whatever happens. That was the time when I started taking social media very seriously. I was already very active and had posted every single day till that point. So, I thought of giving it my all. I used to save real ideas and shoot every day. I even put reminders on my phone so that I did not forget that I had to post. I even stopped talking to my friends and family and put to use the little time I had after our long sessions. Now, the finale of Miss India was supposed to happen in Manipur and we all were taken there on the 7th of April. We were all dressed up and were ready to head to Manipur and this journey was one of a kind. Just imagine 30 girls all in pretty dresses in 5 inch tall heels wearing their state sashes walking in a line. Everyone at the airport were looking at us and some of them were even taking out pictures and little did we know that this was just the beginning. The moment we arrived at Manipur, we were surrounded by cameras and so many people came to greet us at the airport. There were toll performances and people with our posters. We were welcomed with Manipuri crowns and tikas. It was just so overwhelming. I got really emotional seeing those people putting in so much effort. In Manipur, our roommates changed and this time I landed up with Pratika and she is just so helpful and fun-loving that I absolutely enjoyed my stay with her. One of the coolest things that happened over there was whenever we headed out, we were accompanied by three to four police chiefs and everyone kept staring at us whenever we passed by. And those days in Manipur truly made me feel like I was some sort of a celebrity. And soon it was time for our grand finale. It was quite hectic to practice all the sequences time and again, go for our fittings and also be active on social media. But we put up a really great show. Everything looked so effortless and flawless while we were literally rushing backstage to change into our garments and jewelry. We also had to get our makeup fixed, change our footwear, go back on stage, remember all the sequences and also be prepared to speak in front of such a huge audience. It was all so hectic, but ultimately, we did a great job. And guess what? I actually ended up winning the title of Miss Multimedia and I felt so happy and proud knowing that my parents were watching me, but most importantly, because I gave it my all. And this was the most important subcontest because it led me directly to the top 12. When I finally got to see the telecast on TV, I felt so nostalgic. It was the accumulation of all our efforts of those 40 days all brought down to that one specific finale night. I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to represent my state at a national level and got so much love and appreciation from people. In Miss India, I got to work with the most renowned people of the fashion industry and got a lot of exposure. We even attended a lot of parties where all the A-list celebrities were invited. I even got the chance to meet and interact with the current Miss World, so that was pretty cool. This was a lifetime opportunity for me and one of the main highlights of my life. So, this was my Miss India journey. I hope you all enjoyed listening to the insights that I shared with you guys. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. It really motivates me to make more content. See you next time. Bye!